That was a bit of action, something photography. <laughs> Hi there, this is Shoe Rainer on the Shoe Rainer Drawing School. Welcome. And today I've been asked by Mega Rat Boy one two three to uh, show you how to draw an owl. So here we are. I looked up, but see what was the most favourite owl? And apparently it's a barn owl, certainly in the UK. And uh, here we are. Here's a barn owl. And uh, let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Okay, this is my third attempt. I don't know what's the matter with me today. Well, I do know what's the matter with me today. <laughs> I kind of... Um, finished a big project and it's kind of... I suppose I should be having a break, but I feel I haven't done a drawing for a little while, so I should do another one. Um, I'll tell you more about it in the next video. Okay, this is a bar now. Um, and we need this kind of heart shape. Um, so start with a kind of a circle. So, so it's a long stretched out circle and then you want this kind of heart shape. Like that. And I'm drawing this very lightly. Um, and then this is kind of the heart. Where I've got to keep getting it wrong. Right, okay, the beak is kind of almost right down to the bottom of the, the, the facial disc. And I've kept putting the eyes too big. I've been saying that that's a circle and put them in the middle, but it's not. The the eyes should almost be, almost be in the middle of this disc. In fact, they can probably come down a little bit more. So I would put them in about there, and I think that's where I've been going wrong. And I'm not sure that I'm going to make. I'm going to move that just slightly closer into the middle as well there a bit like that okay I've been fooling myself with these facial discs because that it's all made of feathers um, but what it actually is it's kind of like a radio telescope thing but it's for sound and I'm not sure I made these eyes a little big but anyway that probably make it more appealing um, so so these facial discs it's, it's the feathers all arranged to, to kind of grab sound as it flies silently through the night listening for little rodents scurrying about and uh, and all the sounds get kind of fed into its ears through this kind of like a great big radio telescope kind of thing okay if you draw these this kind of is it's almost a, a right angle around its eyes and then that's going to kind of feed into the the beak down at the bottom. This is looking much. I'm much happier with this already. And uh, there we go, like that. And and I think I think I'm tired actually. <laughs> so I kind of cut myself a bit of energy back up to do to redo this drawing. And I'm kind of drawing around this face quite firmly because it's quite a crisp edge to the face and then it has a very definite kind of feathery edge to it very particular edge like that okay and then what you want to do is to start kind of putting in these actually and then these feathers here are kind of pushed up here and where they push together there's this kind of a crinkle bit where they meet like that um, you're going to find under there that's kind of quite dark so you can shade that in there like that and what you put put a few kind of guidelines in it's kind of going to radiate out like a clock from the eyes and you're going to want to kind of put this this is the way the feathers go and I think you're going to have it a bit darker coming coming out there kind of almost like almost like eyelashes and but not okay. oh that's going in the wrong direction isn't it uh, almost like eyelashes but not okay and they'll be kind of coming in from the outside as well I, I think we'll make it a bit more obvious in the kind of top left hand corner just to add a bit of kind of shading to it there like that and then it's just keep radiating out and the same thing is happening down here 
up into the, the kind of well I called it a nose but it isn't a nose it's just kind of the way the feathers flow out from the eyes oh that's looking so much better I'm much happier with this now shall I show you my previous attempt that was the first one that didn't go very far <laughs> that's the second one it's just not right I just wasn't happy with it okay now you see I do uh, I work hard for you on here you know I practice and I practice and I practice <laughs> and we want this kind of uh, a nice kind of hood shape to it there. So I'm going to take that kind of round like that. Now from about here you want a nice sweeping curve coming down there. Am I going to get this to fit? Probably not. We'll have a sweeping curve. Draw this in very carefully, gently and then another one that will kind of sweep down like that. Um, this is going to no, have a line coming out like that and that's going to be the the claws okay you're going to want another one about there like that so this will come kind of like that there we go that's pretty good and then the other thing will come there and you'll see a bit of the tail sticking out there that's that's not too bad that's not too bad i think i think maybe that needs to come down a bit more like that and then the We'll have the claws kind of like that. Good. Now, the we want to get nice feathers, big feathers in on the top, kind of like that, and some coming underneath it. And then we have a kind of a little rack of feathers in there, and then these are going to be the big. Pinions. Hang on, this will be this got the wrong shape really. I want that to be coming down there. So these will be coming. Let me get an eraser in there quickly. I shouldn't be. I don't use an eraser much, do I? And it's usually when I'm um, doing the rubbing out pencil lines because I've been inking in, but I'm not inking in today. So we're going to want these. Pinions, I think they are. I, I, I don't know. So that will be more probably get more of an angle like that. Good. And then that will be kind of yeah, these kind of knickerbockers. So the claws draw a little coming out like that, and another one like that, and then that will come out from the claw, and there'll probably be another one behind there somewhere. Um, Maybe that's the forward one, and then that's the one behind it. Uh, with there'll be claws holding on. We'll have it sitting on a fence post like that. Good. I think that's looking quite good. Um, now I'm going to put some feathers, kind of radiating out from there, and then they kind of peter out there. So we can have quite a um, we can shade this quite a bit now here because it's kind of darker it's that lovely tawny brown colour on the top how are we doing? 8 minutes this is going to be a long one but never mind and then shade in all around this face there right now I'm going to draw in these kind of um, big kind of feathers that hang out over the top. Oh, you want the bits down the middle there, then. And they're kind of speckly and spockly, and, and you can get these other feathers kind of sticking down below. And then you've got this kind of rack of them. I really should do some work on feathers and understanding birds so much to do in life isn't there so much to learn <laughs> and uh, that would be kind of coming down like that and again and that would be kind of coming down there now as this comes here it all becomes really quite fluffy so you want a kind of fluffy 
lines and the same here these kind of fluffy knickerbockers and then draw that like now draw in the draw in these very sharp hooky kind of um what are they called claws <laughs> talking and drawing at the same time is not easy i've said it before it's, it's all to do with the right brain and the left brain i don't think i've talked about right brain and left brain on here i should do that and uh it's a fascinating subject it's a subject i'm very fascinated by as well i think when I was about 13 I wanted to be a psychologist when I grew up and I think that's still interest is still there in me um, now we'll find this other one behind is going there and you're going to want the tail as well would be you're not really going to see much of it um, so I'm just going to shade that in there it's kind of just a hint of something going on. And then I'm going to put some shading in there under the wing. Like that. And I'm going to just put these little feathery kind of marks in. Because they have this beautiful soft downy chest. Like that, and uh, we're doing 11 minutes. We're getting there, we're getting it. <laughs> um, let's have the fence post that it's sitting on, like that. And there'll be a bit of shading in there as well, like that. And I know on the, the previous one I did a lot of shading in behind but I think I was trying to hide things so uh, I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not going to do that I think I was trying to hide mistakes and so I'm just going to kind of roughly shade in these feathers like that and I think I'm going to say that's it I'm just going to rub out that little mark there because I can see it in the camera and it just looks like it's unnecessary. I haven't really done much of this kind of stuff before. And just kind of rubbing out those construction lines like that. Because because most of the time I'm doing stuff with a pen, aren't I? And today I just feel like doing it with pencil 12 minutes this is starting to be a long one for me and I'm going to do that there there I think I want to get a kind of a sense of smoothness coming round the corner round from the head because the head's very smooth and then it kind of turns into this fluffiness so I'm going to have a hint of the wing on the other side there just to kind of show off that fluffiness a bit more so it kind of contrast and it's still I kind of feel there should be some bit more just a bit more just shading just Little hints of it, probably a bit more around like that. There, too. there we go. I think <laughs> I had a question recently. <laughs> How do you know when to stop? <laughs> I don't know, but I think that's a good place to stop before I ruin it. I think that's that's the answer. You know when to stop it. <laughs> the moment before you ruin it. Um, if you enjoyed that, keep coming back to the shoe and drawing school on YouTube. <laughs> and in the meantime. Keep practicing, practicing. Keep drawing, 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 and woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.